Revelation 19 After these things, I heard a great sound of many people in heaven shouting, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and honor and power belong to the Lord our God, for true and righteous are his judgments, because he has judged the great prostitute who corrupted the earth with her sexual immorality, and he has avenged on her the blood of his servants. And again they said, Alleluia, her smoke rises forever and ever. The twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God who sat on the throne saying, Amen, Alleluia. Then a voice came from the throne saying, Praise our God, all you his servants and those who fear him, both great and small. Then I heard something like the sound of a great multitude, as the sound of many waters, and as the sound of mighty thunderings, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife has made herself ready. It was granted her be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. Fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. Then he said to me, Write, Blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are the true sayings of God. I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, See that you do not do that. I am your fellow servant and of your brothers who hold the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. I saw heaven opened, and there was a white horse. He who sat on it is called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he judges and wages war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many crowns. He has a name written that no one knows but he himself. He is clothed with a robe dipped in blood. His name is called the Word of God. Armies in heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses. Out of his mouth proceeds a sharp sword with which he may strike the nations. He shall rule them with an iron scepter. He treads the winepress of the fury and the wrath of the God Almighty. And on his robe and on his thigh, he has a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice to all the birds flying in the midst of heaven, Come and gather for the supper of the great God to eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of commanders, the flesh of strong men, the flesh of horses and their riders, and the flesh of all men, both free and slave, both small and great. Then I saw the beast and the kings of the earth with their armies gathered to wage war against him who sat on the horse and against his army. But the beast was captured and with him the false prophet, who worked signs in his presence by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. These two were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with brimstone. The remnant were slain with the sword which proceeded out of the mouth of him who sat on the horse, and all the birds gorged themselves with their flesh.